Yay, it's the best day ever. Your trapeze just came. It comes in this big brown paper container here. So, a pair of scissors. Let's cut off the packing. It's ribbons. And then cut open on the tape. I put it upside down so that it's easier to just open. You can put it right side up. But let's see what it's like on the inside after we cut off this tape. Okay, I've cut off the packing straps. I've cut off the tape. Let's open this baby up. Beautiful. All right, we're going to flip it over and see what we got. Okay, so once we open it up, this is what's inside. I'm going to bring everything in and lay it down and take off all the plastic. Yay! We got the chickpeas out of this plastic and I laid it down on the floor. So here are the contents so you understand what the hell it is I've got here. So you have one base that is going to get mounted against the wall. Then you have two yellow springs that are for leg, two red springs that are also for leg and they come with their lanyard clippings. Then the two shorter springs, the green ones, are for arms. Then we have two shorter red springs that are going to be for the push through bar and tower. You have these two little metal nubbins and then two wooden sticks. The wooden stick with the little hooks is the roll back stick that we use. There's nothing to do with this stick. This stick here is going to get mounted with these little circles and it's going to go at the base of your tower because this is the bottom and where one is it's the top these two plates super easy the screws are already here this is what is going to get mounted onto the push through bar don't freak out it's easy i'm going to do everything step by step with you you have eight of these bulbs that you're going to mount through to the wall four on each side. Then you have four loose little nubbin screws like this. After the tower is ready, it's gonna get screwed on to the very end of the tower, two on each side, so you have four, so that you attach the spring to that. I'll show you, okay? These are the pins that hold your push through bar into this thing here. Then you have two handles for the arm springs, and then you have these straps with a double loop you can use for hands and for legs. You also get an Allen wrench that should be called a Billy wrench because I like that name better. And then you have three little wrenches that we'll figure out what they're for as we get to them. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we've laid everything out. We kind of know what it is more or less. So we're gonna take these two little black pieces of metal with the little black, uh, silver metal with the black knobs. They're gonna go here. So use your Allen wrench and unscrew all the way. When you unscrew, don't freak out that the whole thing comes up. Don't let that scare you. So I'm gonna do one side at a time. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna screw that like that onto there. Make sure that you keep your little washer on the screw. Pop it in. Pop it in. Same thing on the other side. And screw it all the way. Pop it in. Pop it in. And then we're going to screw it in. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. If only I knew right from left, right? Okay. I'm going to screw it in. Okay. So, I've got the screw in. Before you tighten the screw all the way, make sure that the little silver piece that we're attaching to the wood is on top and that there's the same amount of space on either side of the screw so that you can see that it's centered because or else it'll make me crazy when I'm teaching you. So I use the long side of the Allen screw to do most of the tightening and I don't tighten all the way either side. I just do both little by little. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, perfect. So when I get it almost all the way tight, 
I go back and I do the other side so that you tighten them gradually both. So now that's as much as my little hands can get. Now I use the short side of the L and now I have more power to do that final turning to tighten it. So the short one in for the final tightening, the long one in for the initial screwing. It's screwing and tightening. If only everything was this easy and simple. This is like the hardest part of it and it's, we're almost there. Okay, so you got those silver pieces on. Don't tighten them all the way. So you're gonna slide your stick in, make sure that these are loose. If you have trouble getting the stick in and it doesn't slide easily, loosen these, pull the stick in and get it centered. Once you have it centered, that you can feel you have the same amount from this side to this side. And I can even measure with my little stick or with my hand or with my eyeball. Once you feel that you have it, then tighten down the little black things to hold the stick. And then let me give these one final turn with the short side. So now it's tight in case your stick doesn't slide easily and then it's nice and secure. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do are these two black pieces. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the piece so that the silver goes outward on either side like two little ears. And you see that here by your number four, five, and six, you have these screws. So we're gonna unscrew these screws by hand, and then I'm gonna put this black part in with the silver part sticking out like ears, and then I'm gonna do the other side as well. Okay, so we've unscrewed by hand these three screws by four, five, and six that were on the wood. And now I've laid the black thing on there with the silver ears sticking out. Make sure that you put the little silver washer under the screw. I've screwed them in by hand as much as they'll go. And now I use the Allen key, the long side for most of the quick tightening, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Once you've tightened all three of them as much as you can with the long side, we go back and we tighten with the short side that gives us more leverage. All right, so far so good. We've got those two black plates with the little silver ears on. Make sure that you tighten them as much as your little hands can. Remember that you stick the small part of the Allen key in and turn because it gives you better leverage, right? The little tiny part goes in and then you turn the giant stick part. This way you have more turning power. So now these little pins here, these little sticks with circles and the push through bar are what mount on these two black parts. You have the option of installing the wood first before you mount the push through bar. So it's not that heavy, but just so that you see how it goes, there's my push through bar. I slide it and I'm gonna bring it inside. And let's say that you're gonna do the first setting. So with the push through bar, the higher you are, it's easier for when you're laying underneath with the spring loaded in what we call tower, the lower you load it, the easier it's gonna be for the push through when you sit with the spring loaded on top. So if you're just average, let's just load the push through bar in the center, which is their five nubbins. I would find the center one and you're just gonna slide the push through bar and then these pins go through the silver part. There's a little circle on there that you can see that little silver piece moves. You just stick it through and then you'll stick it through the push through bar and it will just click right on in. I'm gonna line it up. And then if you push the pin, it slides right in and it clicks. 
So there I have my push through bar. I've loaded it in the center one and the pin is outside. You just push it and it clicks. You may have to jiggle a little bit to make sure that it goes through. And then if you want to change it, you just pull out the pin and adjust it. But I would just leave it in the middle setting for average people and we don't really change that too much. All right, so I'm gonna take off my push through bar so I can load and mount this piece of wood on the wall. I'm gonna get my drill with my bit and just mount it on the wall. Here we go. And here is our beautiful Pilates tower that mounts on the wall. We've mounted it on the wall with the eight bolts that you can see are going through the wood into the wall with sinkers that I just drilled a hole for. So once I have it up, I've loaded my push through bar. As you see, the push through bar has settings one, two, three, four, and five right here. So this pin, you can just find the setting that you want and lift up the bar wherever you want. Once you have it, the pin just goes in. There's one on each side. So as you notice, there are numbers from one all the way down to 10. Okay, so now my push through bar is loaded. I have chosen to mount my tower above my baseboard. See, I have a little bit of space. So I know that my settings are gonna be a little bit harder. So if I tell you, for instance, to load your spring at seven, if you're above your baseboard, you'll just bring it down to an eight. The height of the push-through bar is determined by how tall you are. So I find that that lowest setting for me is easy. So here's what you get along with your wall tower. All right, so here I've taken the safety strap and you have extra little clickies that they give you and I've clicked it to the very, very top inside row and the strap hangs down. I've taken the push through bar and I've loaded the shorter red, or red springs at number three. So let's say that you wanna do the push through bar. You take the safety strap which has a clicky on the other end, and I'll just click it out of the way. And now that strap is out of my way. You can even click it and make it shorter. So you just bring up your push through bar and you load that spring onto this edge. And so now your push through bar is loaded at the top with the spring. So there you see, I've loaded one spring from number three to the push through bar and now you can use that push through bar to do all the stuff that we use. So let's say that you want to do the tower. You unclick this one and I've loaded my other shorter red spring at the very, very bottom on number 10. So I will click this clicky on to the bottom of there and add my safety strap and I'm ready to do the tower. And here you see my safety strap. One hook is at the top in the middle and I've hooked it through one of these loops, nice and low so that I can get the full range. You can also hook this higher to a higher loop so that you can make this whatever height you want. At the bottom, I've hooked one of the red springs to number 10 and to the bottom of the bar. You have the option to use both springs so you can load them both which is fine, and then we're ready to do the tower. Excellent, I've done my push through bar, so I've tied it up with my safety strap to get it out of the way, and now I've loaded my arm springs on number six with my little handles. Remember, you can always use leg springs if you feel you want more, and changing the height and backing yourself up away from the tower, Cadillac wall unit makes it harder. So we have plenty of options and choices. 
All right, so I'm done with the tower. So I've taken both of the tower springs and I just load them high to get them out of my way. I've used my safety strap to tie the bar up so it's out of my way. I have my leg springs, the yellow ones I've decided to use and I put them on number seven. So I have my foot straps that I can click on to the bottom if I want or if I choose, I have my wooden stick with the clickies that I can click on to my leg springs. And voila, I've just hung a little curtain over my tower and I'm gonna put my table there or my chair and have a phenomenal day because my priority is taking care of myself and real Pilates is gonna keep you fit and happy forever. See you in class.